The deaf and mute girl suddenly heard a distant call, as if instructed in some way. She came to a dead tree. Here, the girl seemed to see the Virgin Mary. Just as the priest tried to tap her on the shoulder, the girl, who had lost the ability to speak at birth, spoke at this moment. She told everyone that the Virgin Mary was sending her a message. When the people saw this phenomenon, they thought it was a miracle and were very moved. What they did not know was that the statue of the Virgin Mary in the church was shedding terrible tears of blood. The miracle of the deaf girl speaking again was first discovered by Jerry. He had long lost his reputation as a notorious journalist who liked to falsify things. So, he earned money by making fake paranormal stories on the side. On this day, he received an assignment to interview a farmer whose cattle were possessed by Satan. But when he arrived at the scene, he realized that it was just an oops. But he had to make up something. So, Jerry found a dead tree in the distance. Something is emitting light. He went closer to see the tree hole buried in a strange doll. The farmer said this is a farm harvest doll, is used to seek a good harvest. Jerry suddenly thought of something. He crushed the doll's face with one foot, said, when the ancient talisman was broken, mysterious cattle mutilations began. And just like that, the framework of a paranormal news story emerged, before he knew that his actions had made a big mistake. On his way back that night, he was still thinking about how to make the news content rich. But a girl in white suddenly appeared in front of him scaring him a sharp turn into a tree. Jerry immediately got out of the car to follow the police girl's pace, and found that the other party came to the morning before the dead tree, is kneeling on the ground rambling about something. Jerry patted her, the other side passed out. He sent the girl home only to learn that the girl's name is Alice, and she cannot speak at all. So what just happened? Jerry caught a whiff of some paranormal news and decided to follow Alice to get material. The next day, Alice spoke up in front of everyone. According to her, it was a lady named Mary who gave her the ability to speak again. Everyone naturally thought that this lady was the great mother of God. Maria was grateful for the coming of the divine machine. But only Jerry had a nightmare that night. He dreamed that the sky turned blood red, and that an eerie figure approached slowly in the river, showing her terrible eyes. When he opened his eyes, he found black mold all over the ceiling. In the early morning the people of the town gathered again in front of a dead tree to wait for the miracle to come once again. A pair of parents appeared pushing a paralyzed boy. Alice walks up to him and asks him if he believes in Maria. The boy nodded his head. As a result, with Alice's encouragement, a miracle occurred again and the boy was able to walk again. The news soon reported the story, and the clergy studied the matter. Despite their differences, they agreed to put Jerry in charge of Alice's interview and story. Alice's uncle, Father Hagen, found the broken condensed doll in the dirt. Behind him, a dark demon extended its claws. The priest collapsed in pain from emphysema, but the girl's first reaction was not to take him to the hospital, but to ask him, do you believe in Mary? After the priest nodded, the girl put her hand on his chest. A surge of strength appeared, and the priest was miraculously able to breathe. He smiles, but behind the girl he saw a demon with a ghostly claw. The priest's severe emphysema was thus cured by the girl. Alice said it was all the work of the Virgin Mary. Is this really the case? I'm afraid only the priest knows. However, the town has been given the name of a holy place by the religion because of the successive miracles. Alice has become an icon to many people. At the same time, some residents chose to leave the holy place because they believed that something bad would happen after the miracle. After the town became a shrine, the priest settled his niece Alice in a convent outside the town, while he kept the church alone. On this day, he was smoking a cigarette outside the house, and all the smoke drifted towards a crack in the wall. The priest reached in and pulled out a diary, which seemed to contain information related to Satan. Something in the darkness was watching him. Jerry and Alice's psychiatrist chatted in the cafe. From the conversation, Jerry knew from the doctor that the harvest doll was a symbol of good luck, so no one would write the name and year on it, unless it was used to seal the evil spirits. He remembered the day he stepped on the doll. Jerry had some bad feeling. This feeling has been around him, until he and the doctor came to the river for a walk and found a horrible face from the water. Frightened, he decided to talk to Father Hagen. On the other side, the priest had just entered the church. He was having some difficulty breathing and was resting, but seeing the light shining in the confessional in the distance, he decided to do his duty and went into the other room. The confession began, but the other party's language became more and more violent and began to accuse the priest of distrusting him. When he said that it was Satan who gave him all the divine power, the priest finally realized that the other party was the black demon he had recently seen, and that Alice had been controlled by him to perform the so-called miracles. The priest, who only now realized the truth, was too late to save himself. He rushed out of the confessional. He saw the demon in a cloak, imitating the Virgin Mary, 
and the next moment he reached out his claws towards the priest. By the time Jerry arrived at the church, Father Hagen was gone. Looking at the flickering lights in the confessional, he went up to check, but the room was empty. The body of the hanged priest appeared above Jerry. The priest was about to perform an exorcism, but the match in his hand went out again and again. The demon suddenly appeared behind him. She made the flame ignite the cross and thrust it straight into the sacristy. All the statues of Jesus in the church shed tears of blood, and the demon came to earth with the power of the people. This demon is the bride of Satan, Mary the witch. She used the power of Satan by healing others. She makes them believe that she is the Virgin Mary. She draws on trust to strengthen her own power. Anyone who opposes will die a horrible death. Eventually, the villagers rose up against her and Mary was caught and put into the cold waters of the river. She confesses to obeying Satan. As a punishment, a mask imitating the Virgin Mary was welded to her face. Mary was hanged and burned. Her soul is imprisoned in a harvest doll. Until the journalist Jerry crushes the doll, making Mary reappear. This time, she draws power through her offspring, Alice, and wants to return to Earth. Father Hagen has died because of Mary. After clearing everything up, Jerry rushes to the clergy, hoping they can stop the demon. At this time Alice received instructions from Mary. A major ceremony is about to be held in the evening. Surprisingly, the clergyman already knew the truth, but he saw it as an unorthodox lynching and tried to cover it up. This meant that the evening service would be held as usual with much excitement. Many people knew about Alice and came together to witness the miracle. The ceremony was even webcast live. On the other side, the priest who supported Jerry was with them to prepare for the expulsion of the doll that had contained Mary's soul. It was then that Jerry confessed that he had caused the whole thing. If he hadn't stepped on that farm doll, things wouldn't have come to this. But the priest said that God always opens a door for salvation. Jerry was destined to be the one to stop it. That's when Mary showed up at the church. She kills the priest. Jerry and the doctor were thus deprived of their support. Now the only way to weaken Mary's power is to make the people doubt their faith. So Jerry and the doctor came to the ceremony and told everyone that the miracles they had seen were all fabricated. And the doctor tried to explain to Alice in sign language that the devil had used him and that it was not the real Virgin Mary. The crowd obviously did not want to believe Jerry's intention. Alice was also very confused at first. However, when she blocked Mary from collecting the souls of the crowd, she was whispered in her ear. Finish the prayer. They must pledge their souls to me, or you will never. Alice immediately concluded that the other party was not the true virgin, because a loving God would not threaten the faithful in this way. So, Alice opened her mouth and revealed everything. The crowd was shocked, and in the midst of the confusion, Mary began to show herself. She burned all the crosses on the spot and climbed out of the tree trunk. Her true face was also revealed. Just when she wanted to hurt Jerry, Alice stood up for Jerry and blocked the attack. Because Alice is Mary's only offspring, killing her offspring will not bring her back to life. So, Mary turned into ashes and disappeared forever. In the end, under Jerry's prayers, Alice came back to life. Although she lost the ability to speak again, but the evil was finally defeated.